welcome to this video that I call Code Exploration. I don't know if it's going to be any series or anything, but anyway, here I am going to explore different concepts and other stuff. So, in this first example, we're going to um, look at object orientation in C. Uh, I'm not going to use any malloc or all of that because it's really complicated and I'm just going to do something simple just a few objects and nothing more so uh, let's begin here we have a file called code exploration no, it's called main.c and we're going to um, create our ever a main file simple one so let's first include um, stdio, I think it is. Include, oops, stdio.h. And then we're going to include, include, uh, oops, include, um, object.h. I have not written object.h yet, that is something we are going to do. So, um, let's see. int main um, and that. Oops. And we are going to do a return 0. Then we are going to save this. And then we're going to uh, let's see here terminal. Here we go. Uh, GCC main dot c dash o main. Let's go compile it and let's run that main. And uh, nothing happens as expected. We have not written any code. Just wanted to see that uh, that it worked and it did work. So let's continue here. Um, open and um, we're going to do a an, uh, uh, print f hello exclamation mark and then a new line so write that and compile oops compile again and run hello Nothing too serious yet. Um, so let's see here. I'm going to make an object that is going to. We're going to add one. Oops, never mind. Sorry about that sound. Um, it was my, it was my um, ki kitchen fan that turned off. Now let's see here. Open object dot h. Uh, we are going to do an um, oops. Uh, uh, if uh, if not def um, h underline object um, uh, object object uh, define. Define h underline object. Oops. Object and then an uh, end if. That is the standard inclusion guard for um, header files. So let's have a look at. Um, Let's uh, first create a structure. That's going to be the object we're going to work on. Going to, um, yeah. So it's uh, um, uh, oops, struct, struct, um, object, and it's going to have. Uh, I probably should call something else an object, but uh, in this case we're only going to do some simple tests. So uh, let's have a look here. Uh, it's going to have a 
if you write an integer x integer y and an and a string and um, oops I string is not a keyword in C so we are going to have to use char um, char pointer I think is going to be the correct way to do this and end that statement now we have an object we can work on and um, we are going to have to create a constructor for this so uh, we're going to have a um, yeah a constructor for this object so it's a struct it's a struct street struct um, object um, object uh, underline in new and uh, then we are going to have uh, it's going to take a few parameters so the first parameter is, the, is uh, actually nothing um, a few different ways to do this I'm going to do this this, this way see if this works if this is not going to work this is an explanation I have not done this before so um, yeah it will be fun I think <coughs> First, I'm going to do the classical way actually, which is avoid, avoid, uh, and we're going to take an object instead. Um, struct. Um, let's see here. Yes. Struct object uh, O struct object O and then we're going to take an integer uh, X and an integer Y and a char pointer S and we're going to uh, re return the object that we're going to work on. Uh, oops, this is just a header file, of course. I'm not going to do anything here. Sorry about that. Um, and that is the decoration of the constructor. Now we go. Oops, sorry. Now we're going to um, int um, object. Uh, get um, x. So I'm going to take the struct object o and nothing more. And we're going to do an o. Uh, let's see here. I think. Oh, yes. That is going to be an o dot x. And we need to return that. Um, yeah, it should work, I think. Um, now we're going to have to create the uh, object.c file. So let's see here what we can do. Um, yeah, we're going to include in, oops. Include include um, object dot h and we we'll make the const uh, find the constructor and it was a uh, struct object um, struct object object new and it took an struct object. No, it was a void actually. Um, void struct object int x int y. Int x int y sharp pointer 
S. Uh, and we are going to have, excuse me, to it O. And we are going to have, um, let's see, let's see. These are pointers. Mm. Let's see here, right? I think it should be pointers. So, um, anyways, s dot. I uh, know o dot um, x equals x. I should probably call this this and um, o instead of uh, this. So we have a better this dot x equals x and this dot y equals y and char uh, oops uh, this dot s equals s I think this should work uh, let's see we're going to compare the first object uh, it's going to be the Let's see here, cc dash um, c uh, object dot c dash o object dot o. Let's see here, we got the object and the object file. And I'm going to have to um, use this, but I have yet to create the other function, but let's keep that for later. <coughs> Sorry about that. And we're going to open the main. And we include the object.h file there. <coughs> Sorry. Um, so let's create a new object, shall we? works so it's um, then we're going to include the object dot file there and whoops linking error let's see first define here uh, and multiple defini definitions of get of get x or we get x hmm Let's see. Open object dot h. Uh, if not define define object. Multiple decorations. This is strange. Very strange. Object. Should not happen. Um, okay. If not to find a find and if dum 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 dum. First, to find here. 
definitions of object get x and function oh there we go I am an idiot because this is an h file you shouldn't have anything like that in the h file uh, sorry about that let's compile the object and compile that and here we go seems to work so far so let's see if now we're going to write the get x function to see if this works so open and and uh, object c and and oops and we're going to have an int um, and we're going to have a ob object get x and that's going to take an struct object this and we're going to have return this dot x right and let's see here let's compile that let's compile that and it's no change because I haven't implemented it it's yet um, so open that and we are going to do uh, f print oops not f print f print f print f um, hello colon digit um, object um, get X and go. Let's see here, right? And we are going to try this out now. Compile it again and run it. And we got not what we expected. Why is this? Well, the thing is, I have actually I've done something wrong here. Um, Oops. Um, why, why, why? There we go. <coughs> because I have not, I did not actually send a pointer to the object to the constructor. So let's see this. Uh, let's do this again. So we're going to in, go into the object here and going to do and and star that can be as it is and I'm going to open a bit C file and insert that should probably change the other thing too and then we're going to insert whoops uh, right uh, oops that is actually wrong uh, sorry about that let's see here when and that is actually wrong that can it was other one S see here there we go right and let's see here um, and we oh yes this is actually expected so delete that and do that do that do that right and there we go I'm going to recompile that Save 
let's try this again. Here we go. And dot slash main 10. It works. So that is basic object orientation in C. And um, it shouldn't be that hard to understand. Um, what I've not covered here is uh, memory allocation, all of that stuff. So we are going to I am. Uh, I have not looked into that, so um, I cannot really talk about that. So we can actually have. Uh, it's not actually that hard to understand how this works. But I'm going to change the name of uh, this here to this, and it's a keyword. This. Oops. Keyword in, uh, in C++. So let's see here. That didn't fail, and that didn't fail, and then we can run it. Yes, <coughs> that's why it's highlighted because it's because it's a keyword in C++, but it's not in C. So I should actually not use this, but I can use this. Um, same goes for class. Class should be spelled with a K if you are using that. And um, yeah, I think I'm done with this. I wanted to show you the basics of object orientation in C. So, Tura, have a good one.